everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about for looping in arrays. So we talked about for each in the last episode, but this time we're going to uh, do a loop with each individual element, using each individual element in our array. So let's just go ahead by creating an array called fruit. And we're going to set it equal to an array here. And just pick whatever fruit you want. I'm going to do, I'm going to do grape. Uh, for second one, we'll do orange. And for the third one, we'll do banana. Banana. Let's come down below this, and we're going to create a new variable called length here. Okay, and I need to make sure I spell it right. Okay, I'm going to set length equal to the length of the array. So I'll do count and then parentheses here and we're going to type in the variable fruit. So length will be equal. This is a function we're running. The count, it'll count how many elements are in the variable fruit, uh, the variable array fruit, and then there's a blender in the background. So I'll pause for a second. So here's where we're going to write our for loop. We're going to do for and now we'll create an instance variable of i and we're going to set it equal to 0. Okay? Now just like we have the th we're going to have three parameters here, so the next one we're going to limit how many times we'll go through this loop. And that'll be as long as i is less than length here. Now the last parameter, what we'll do is we're going to add 1 to i, just like we did in the last, with the plus plus, so that at the end of each pass through this loop, we're adding 1 to this right here. Okay? I'm going to close it there. Then I'm going to put a curly brace right there. Coming down below, this is where we're going to bring everything together. So we're just going to echo out what we're currently at for fruit. So we'll do fruit. Sorry, that was a bad way of explaining it. But so what we do is we'll target i here. Instead of calling out a specific index number, we just hit variable i. And then that, because i changes, every time we go through this loop, it will echo out a different element in our array. So Let's just pass through this first uh, first one for a minute. The first time we go through our for loop, i is already set to zero because that's what we've set it at by default. So we'll see that i is less than what currently length is. Now this count uh, function here is going to return currently three. Now this is why we use the less than because we know grape is at index position zero, orange is at index position one, and banana is at index position two. So as every time we go through this loop, we're adding one to i. Okay, so the next time we go through this, i will now be equal to one. i will still be less than length, so we'll go through this loop. We talked about this in the prior episode, if this middle section isn't making sense to you. We go through this loop until this statement here is false. Okay, so we keep just iterating through. At the end of each loop iteration, we we run this right here, the i plus plus. Okay, so below echo fruit i zero, so it'll echo out grape. Okay. Now we want these to show on each line, so we're just going to do concatenation here, and then we're going to do uh, backslash n here, come outside of it, and do a semicolon. Now down here, make sure you have this curly brace. Down here, it opens this up for our block of code. This one will close it. Okay, so that is it. Let's go ahead and save it. And then once it's saved, go ahead and save your file under any name you want, or you know a name that makes sense. Uh, and then we're gonna run it. And you'll see here down below that grape, orange, and banana were all returned. Now the reason this is useful is if our array grows, so let's come up here, if our array grows, we add another element to it, fruit. Remember how to do this. I believe I talked about this in a prior episode. We'll just do the box right here, and then we'll do the equal symbol 
and we can add any element we want. So uh, let's do apple. Okay. Now we hit save, and then we can run it. And you'll see that apple is now added to the array. Now this is started kind of look, kind of to look like our print R. So now that our array has four elements in it, this length equal to count is going to grow. It's going to now be at four. So we'll run this until i is less than whatever length right here and here is set to. Okay, guys, I hope you had fun with this one. I certainly did. My name is Jake from Wild Academy. Like the video if you like it. Uh, leave any comments or questions down below, and I or anybody else will answer them. Uh, and don't forget to get onto the list and uh, check out the book down below. And I will talk to you next time. Peace.